What do you think you're doing? Listen, didn't you just see I was just beginning? Yes, I did see that. I gotta get back. Leave it to the professionals. I am professional. No, you're world class. Listen, there's a new Lana Bernstein biopic coming out. So I have to share some trivia. Now let's go. What is this? The Bernstein trivia room? It's pretty, isn't it? Here it is. Tom and Jerry? That's right. Bradley Cooper once said his interest in Lana Bernstein started with good old cartoons. Such as Tom and Jerry and Bugs Bunny at the age of 8 years old. And even at that age, watching the way they performed was already a small obsession for him. Uh huh. What's that over there? That's a picture of Gustav Mahler. It's because Cooper also admitted that one of the challenges of playing Lana Bernstein was that so much footage of its conducting exists. So he focused on one single performance to prepare for the role. And that became Bernstein's performance of Mahler's second symphony. With which Cooper spent years to learn conducting. No, not that one. The one above. That's the Paramount Pictures logo. It's beautiful. Hang on, did they produce the Bernstein biopic? No, no. It's just hanging there because Paramount Pictures was supposed to produce the film. But in January 2020, it moved to Netflix. That's all? What about that? That's Steven Spielberg. Who? Spielberg. You know, from Jaws, your classic park, E.T., which is humanly not possible. Oh, that guy. You want me to... Yes. Okay. Steven Spielberg was attached for quite some time to direct the movie. Until Cooper came along and showed a clip of A Star Is Born. Then Spielberg said, no, you're directing. As Spielberg ultimately became the producer of the picture. So let me get this straight. This is a movie about an icon who created iconic music for West Side Story. And then they create another West Side Story directed by Steven Spielberg who helped to create a film of an icon. No one cares. And finally, Cooper's nose. To bring more realism to Leonard's outlook, Cooper decided to use a prosthetic nose. Which caused quite some controversy because of the nose looking like a regular feature of Jewish portrayals or something like that. Although Leonard's actual children did defend Bradley's decision. Thanks for sharing. You were right indeed.